Hello everyone. Um, today we have another GM vehicle. We are um, we have a 2017 GMC um, Samana Big Man. Um, they are replacing the engine computer on this car, and um, they just called me out to program it. And I would I just wanted to share it with you guys because I don't I don't think I ever made a video for the swapping ECMs on these vehicles. It's almost the same procedure in any other. Um, <coughs> any other um, uh, GM vehicle as you see we have an original I mean brand new one from the GM it's not programmed or anything like that we still have the original one in the uh, plug on the I mean on the car okay so um first we're gonna need need to read the VIN number from that and then start writing everything into this one okay so let's go ahead and start doing this first thing we do turn the ignition on all right wipers let's see you want to make sure when you do programming all your um loads are off i already have a actually um a battery maintainer hooked up to it um it's supposed to be supplying to about 14 volts of voltage um sorry 14 volts of electricity so um you guys got to get to this page as i told you guys before just press start sps run I don't know why I was never able to install this one. I believe you have to right click on the Internet Explorer and do a run as administrator, but I tried mine, mine just doesn't start up. I don't know why, but it still works. I don't have no problem. So every time you do it, just really hit this button, reset the J2534 box, because sometimes you might not have a, a proper communication, but that will just reset it. Okay, we hit the J2534 35 tool. I'm using the um, hotel one again. All right, this one right here, J-Box. Um, it's a JVCI, um, what is it called? Maxiflash JVCI, yes. And um, we're gonna press in here to replace and reprogram because we are replacing a computer in the vehicle. Next, it tells you to turn off the ignition on off. That's up to you, but I never do. It never gives me a problem. All right, so this is a GMC. Let's go down there. Where is GMC? Uh, here we go. Okay, and then um, this car is 2017. And um, we're gonna go to um, Savannah, here we go. We're gonna select our pass-through device, which is a MaxiFlash JVCI. I mean, any <clears throat> I mean any of these companies is installed on, drivers are installed on your computer. These will all pop up, show all their products, okay? All of these companies on um, J2534. J2534 tools. So I'm using this one at the moment. Press continue. We should hear the beep from the J box, which I heard it was too little. You probably guys didn't hear, hear it. But now we will try to identify the vehicle. Okay, perfect. We just pulled out the VIN number. I just want to make sure that's the correct VIN number before I go ahead. Because if you wouldn't you wouldn't know, I've seen so many surprises. Um, let's see. Um, yep, 5219. So um, that's the correct win number. Press next. And now we're going to select what module we're going to be changing and programming, okay? We're doing the engine control module. I'm just gonna do programming right now. Now, uh, at this point, we're going to turn off the ignition because they read some information of that module, already, whatever that's necessary for this vehicle. And once we put the other one in, it will start programming. It will push in all the necessary files, okay? So I'm gonna hold it in here. And then once I put the other one back in, I will continue. Okay guys, so this is the old PCM or ECM, power chain control module or engine control module, okay? Um, that's I just swapped it with the new one. I'm just gonna leave this one in here. Now, we already did that. We already switched them out. And now it's telling us to turn the ignition on. Here we go. On. and we're gonna see some type of anti-tough light most likely somewhere I'm not sure where the anti light is but I'm pretty sure this car will never start at the moment okay so um we did that we turn ignition back on press next we have different couple of different procedures that we have to do after the programming I will also get through them with you guys all right so um as you see um the 
Okay, I'm not even sure why it's giving us the same exact. Is it the same exact? 126.773.53. Yeah, it's the same thing, but um, I think um, it's just gonna add on the um, the VIN number and everything in here. Let's press next. Just downloading the file at the moment, as you see. Usually takes a lot. Actually, it's a lot quicker than this usually. Let's see if it's gonna start programming. I'll tell you guys briefly what we're going to do actually. Um, oh, oh, by the way, just started programming, that's perfect. I'll tell you guys briefly also on what we're going to be, what we need to do after the programming is that um, um, to start the vehicle, first we have to do a VTD relearn, which is called a vehicle TAF deterrent system relearn because it's a different module. We have to remarry the um, anti theft system and the engine computer again, which will take about exactly 12 minutes. Um, that's just a timing procedure with the GM vehicles. After that, most likely we have to relearn the um, uh, CKP uh, variation, basically crank um, crankshaft position and sensor variation relearn, and then uh, we should be done actually. So let's keep program, keep programming when it's just almost done finished programming i will continue the video guys okay guys actually the programming went just way too fast after some point so i couldn't catch to start my camera up again so that's why it's already been programmed as you see you need to always read these messages in here it's very important because they will tell you what you need to do after the um after the programming is done as you see in here crank position variation villain procedure using special function on tech tool may be needed after programming okay um so that's fine. We're gonna use a different scan tool to be able to do that. Um, but before doing that, let's just um, clear the DTCs first and let's see if the vehicle will start. Because I really think we need to do an um, anti theft um, relearn or whatever it's called um, vehicle theft deterrent relearn. I mean, if you don't have to do it, that would just be amazing. It would just save us 12 minutes which in our business is the time is the most important material. All right, so um, then this is done. Every time you do a GM, you turn the ignition off for 30 seconds. Actually, they even take the key out, let the bus system go to sleep. Okay, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so um, after 30 seconds, I'll just put the key inside. I'm gonna turn the ignition over, see if we get lucky and then try to be able to stop this car right now. If not, we have to do a vehicle theft deterrent really, and I hate that name. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, we don't have to do it. I'm so happy about that. We're most likely gonna have a check engine light for the current check deviation we learned. All right, so let me just hook up my scanner right now and we'll go from there, okay? And he has a traction light. I'm not sure why it adds four. Let's get this done and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we just identified the vehicle with the hotel. Now, um, I can't feel the engine actually. It runs like crap at the moment. Even probably it's because of the current check deviation we learned. If the car doesn't have no other problems, we should be good to go. And as you see right now, we have a check engine light and we also have a traction light on. I'm not sure what for the check, I mean, uh, traction light is on for. We'll check that as well. But first I'm gonna go to control unit, engine control module. We're gonna go to special function. We're gonna do, um, as you see in here, crankshaft position variation with line. And what it's gonna tell us to do is that basically we're gonna floor the gas pedal until it cuts off the, um, cuts it off automatically itself. Learn it automatically right there, and it's telling us to put the brake. I'm mean, a handbrake, although I just did that okay because we're gonna hit the gas all the way almost. Let's continue. If the temperature is good on the car, we should be fine. Engine coolant temperature out of range, so we actually we have to, we might have to wait a little bit for um. until this thing gets a little more heated up. Just, I'm just gonna give it a little gas. Let me just see what happens. It's not gonna do it, obviously. Just wanna get a little more power to it so it can just heat up a little more. I'm not sure what the temperature is supposed to be. Actually, I've seen it so many times but I keep forgetting it. So I'm just gonna wait until this thing heats up. 
you know, this thing heats up to the range that is acceptable by the computer. And then I will continue from there, guys. Okay, guys, back to this again. I'm just gonna go to um, special functions, crankshaft variation relearn. I actually learned it already. I completely forgot to um, just record it, but I'm just gonna show you guys one more time. Okay, right now it's actually, um, it's already learned, but I'm just gonna do it one more time. All you do is um, it will tell you to um, press the brake pedal, not sorry, you gotta press the gas pedal all the way down. And then you re release it, and it will actually um, it will I'm gonna actually it will just learn it. That's about it. And then you can clear the codes and everything, and that's it. I actually checked with the uh, traction light, but it has nothing to do with the procedure we did. The shop needs to investigate it further. Go ahead. If they need my assistance. I can try to help them out and that's it for this video guys i hope it will help somebody out and enjoy the rest of your day okay guys actually we missed one step i just realized it that's why I, I believe the traction light is on we did the programming only but we didn't do the setup so let's go ahead do the setup as well actually let me just turn the ignition off i mean the engine off just leave the ignition on and go ahead from here press next Um, oil, engine oil life reprogramming. Okay, I don't think this has anything to do with the traction light, but the traction light came on actually after programming, after the new module, so that's weird. So we already did this, we already did that. So I'm just gonna uncheck this one because I already did this one, but I guess I can't. Let's keep going ahead. It's in the oil life. Um, I'm just gonna put on, um, I believe they just changed the oil. I'm gonna put on 99. Reset. ECM reset successful. Okay, now um, apply brake and hold. Cycle the ignition off to on. Start engine and idle. I guess that's what we need to do to be able to get this to get this light off. I'm just gonna put my laptop in here. You can see it. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Lock the drive, you'll set the parking brake, apply the parking brake and hold it. Turn the ignition from on to off to on, start the engine and idle. Okay, perfect. So, um, set the parking brake, which I just did right now. Brake pedal position. Okay. And, um, and then we have apply and hold the brake. I'm just doing it right now. I'm gonna turn off the ignition. Turn it back on and um, start the engine. Okay, so let's press OK. See what it does. Okay, release throttle when the fuel cuts off. Okay, so right now it's gonna do the um, crankshaft variation relearn, which we did that already, but let me just. Just cut off itself. Wide open throttle. Okay. This is passed. Alright, so but we still have a traction light on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um clear the TTCs one more time, see what happens. There, we might have to reprogram also the um, electronic part, I mean, uh, ABS system, I'm not exactly sure, to maybe uh, bring up to the um, certain level of uh, calibration. Maybe this, this, might, this calibration might be way too new, but I think the traction light just went off since I cleared the light, right after I cleared the light. All right, here we go. Okay, so um, let's turn this off again. Take the ignition off in a couple seconds. And let's put it back in. Let's see what we have in here right now. All right, we're just set to go. Okay guys, that's it.
Thank you for watching and you the best day.